So hello everybody, welcome back to another sociology class. So, so far we have already started with uh, structuralism, that is the macro level theories. We have already looked at the consensus structuralism, that is functionalism. And last week I started with conflict structuralism and more precisely on Marxism. So for today we are going to look at feminism, which is also another part of the conflict structuralism. So when talking about feminism, it started as a criticism of gender role in the society. So feminists argued that gender role were created by men for their own benefit, and they described this type of society as patriarchal. Donc, quand nous causons feminism, feminism, ce plus grand débat, c'est par rapport à ben, gender role dans la société. Quand nous causons gender role, c'est male and female role in the society. Et aussi, je dire que quand nous causons gender role, c'est surtout qu'il ne crée pas ben, ben male, that is men, for their own personal benefit. And a society which is controlled by the man is considered to be patriarchal. Donc, the focus plus comment est-ce que Ben Miché peut contrôler la société, aujourd'hui, the patriarchal society. So, feminism today can be split into three distinct branches. We have the liberal feminists, Marxist feminists, and the radical feminists. And they differ significantly over the extent to which they believe that the society is still patriarchal. And in what the underlying causes of the existence of patriarchy might be. Donc, liberal feminist, we're a liberal feminist, we're a Marxist feminist, and we're a radical feminist. The debate is to which extent is the society still patriarchal today? Et qui ça fait qui peut encore maintenir, maintenir patriarchy dans la société? Okay? So the first one that we are going to look at is radical feminism. So radical feminists take the approach that all men are bad. So they are looking at the problem of men and male domination under patriarchy. Where males dominate in every area of the society. Donc, pour Radical Feminist, le gros problème de la société, c'est que tout est ben misé par bon de la société. Because they are the main source of patriarchy in the society. Donc, le monde est basé sur male domination. Et male domination in every sphere, every area of the society. So radical feminists assume that patriarchy and sex class hold central significance in terms of analysis of male and female relationship. They see patriarchy as the main form of inequality in the society. Donc pour radical feminists, l'idée dire que le gros souci c'est tout simplement patriarchy. Et patriarchy, ça même plus grand inequality qui nous dans la société. So one of the major feminists is Firestone, who argues that women's biology is a basis for their inequality and domination by men. This take the view that because women give birth, they sometimes are dependent on others. Ok? Donc, un des mêmes major radical feministes qui nous est non, c'est tout simplement Firestone. Et Firestone, il dit que Madame, ce biologie, biologiquement, comment elle madame y était, physiquement, comment elle madame y était, ça même qui se base, ça même qui problème, ça même qui souci de inequality in the society. C'est tout simplement parce que, ben, Madame, ce uh, menstruate et aussi ce give birth. And also, this is why they are dependent on others. So this dependence, therefore, allows men to gain power and control, thus seeing patriarchy in the social world. Donc, le fait que madame lui give birth, ça veut dire lui dependent on others, ce men 
tend to make use of this vulnerable situation in order to gain power and control of the society. Parce que vous connaissez du moment qui est Madame Ligue et bébé, c'est à ce moment-là qu'il plie, il plie vulnérable. Donc à ce moment-là, mais Michel de service de power to gain control over every sphere of the society. Next, we have the Marxist feminist. The Marxist feminists take the idea that only some men are bad and the biggest problem with inequality is down to class. Donc, pour Marxist feminist, comparé avec radical qui dit que tout miche pas bon, Marxist feminist is just some men are bad. But the biggest problem of inequality, with inequality in the society, c'est tout simple, c'est pas patriarchy, mais c'est tout simplement class. Quand il veut dire class, c'est tout simplement, il veut dire main issue, c'est capitalism. So they put the emphasis on how women are doubly exploited, both as workers and as women in society and in the home. Donc, les se focus, Marxist feminist se focus, c'est par rapport à comment nous exploitons ben madame in two ways. Firstly, at work, as being workers, where they are exploited by their uh, boss. And secondly, in the society in general, but also at home. Comment est-ce que dans la famille, vous êtes exploité et en général dans la société? Donc, Marxist feminists focus on the connection between capitalism and the subordination of women. Donc, Marxist feminist li get comment capitalist, capitalism li relié avec the subordination, the exploitation of women. Parce que, because we have capitalism in the society, this is one of the reasons, according to Marxist feminists, there is exploitation of women. And the last one is liberal feminist. Donc, liber, liberal feminists focus on measures ensuring that women have equal opportunities with men within the present societal system. Donc, quand nous causons liberal feminists, comment le mot peut dire de façon pensée, c'est libéral, quand nous causons côté equality, nous causons par rapport à les deux, men and women. If men are having a certain opportunity in the society, women also need to have the equal opportunity in the society. So, for liberal feminists, the idea is that if we laws, passing laws, there will be equality in terms of both gender in the society. So, liberal feminists see that society is false in the belief that women are less capable. So, we have to say that we First overview par rapport à qui nous dit qui madame n'est pas capable, n'est pas capable dans la société. But it is completely false. However, liberal feminists do acknowledge that differences between men and women has lessened since since the Equal Pay Act 1970 and the Sex Discrimination Act 1975 has been introduced. Don't put <coughs> liberal feminists. Sorry. We can say that during throughout the years which has come, what happened is that there has been less inequality faced by women. Why? Because we ha we have introduction of new laws, surtout par rapport à employment. We have the Equal Pay Act. Equal Pay Act, c'est surtout par rapport à l'emploi. Que un madame et un monsieur, quand vous pouvez faire même travail, for example, if they are a teacher, they need to have the equal pay. Okay, pas veut dire que un madame madame obsède de ni plus petit la paix ou bien qu'il y a un monsieur obsède de ni plus beaucoup de la paix, uh, vice versa. Okay, then we also have the Sex Discrimination Act. The Sex Discrimination Act, c'est tout simplement un la loi par rapport à si madame fait face de quitte uh, discrimination, peu importe qui côté, et aussi il y a plus pour les hommes. Donc, je uh, peux faire face de Sex Discrimination Act, that is, it can lead also to imprisonment. Donc ça c'était en gros par rapport à consensus structuralism as well as conflict structuralism. So for our next session we are going to look at interactionism. Ça veut dire plutôt que des micro level theory.